I saw my Sanji put two Western Digital, Digital Purple Drive. And the Western Digital Purple Drive is designed for surveillance camera. I got two surveillance camera. I got a PoE switch. I got a wall panel so I can plug my Sanji to the outside cable because it will be outside the camera instead of inside camera. And uh, let's open this up and see what's a, uh, how we connect it and how we gonna put together everything. But here's two different type of camera. And this one here is Amcris IPAM. Basically it's a 4K Ultra HD dome camera. This one just a regular Amcris the IP5M. Just a regular outdoor camera. Both of this doesn't do pan and tilt or doing and out. It just take the image, same angle and uh, just take same uh, camera shot since the area I got set up it will just need to be there and uh, I don't need to do any zooming or motion sens sensitivity for this particular uh, camera and both of them will do night vision and both of them are H265 codec which is use a lot of data paths so it will be easier for my Synology to process the data through the Synology itself. My Synology do come with two licenses, but this do can have four up to 40 cameras. But each additional of the first two need to uh, buy the license. They have a license for one pack, four pack, or eight pack. So it will get pretty expensive, if, but since my Synology is designed for business, this will be okay. Let's take a look at uh, each one here. So I'm put on side. This one here, Mcrest IPAM. It's a 4K Ultra HD. Uh, HD. Uh, it's a 8 megabyte P with a PoE capability, but I still need to buy the PoE switch separately. Open up. You got a nice little template, warranty card. Open up over here. You got a nice foam. You got a PoE set. Uh, mount connectors. This is how you mount it. You use this template to mount to the wall here, and you have extra protection. And the, the dome you need to open up with this hex key because uh, you the dome is designed for people try to uh, to vandalize the camera, but will protect the camera as best it can. So you need to open up with this instead of a regular screwdriver because most of these don't carry a hex hex key. They usually carry a screwdriver, either Philip or standard. Here's the camera. Here's the dome with the glass. It's nice uh, metal here, and you open up with the hex key over here. Uh, connect to over uh, connections over here. You got the RJ45 connection over here. You got the sound video if you have uh, those uh, classic RCA cable. And here's a little power cable if you need extra power through different, uh, de depend how you put it. Uh, some people's uh, property do have a little wire you can connect directly to a wall to a different section of house so they do give you a capability doing that so this is really nice heavy so just follow instruction and mount this one to a to a wall and uh, once you release the camera portion you can screw in inside you have a mini SD slot you can put in the extra uh, memory so you can record uh, both Synology and the unit itself. So it's really nice overall. Let's take a look what's the other one here. Here's Mcrest um, uh, IP5M. Here's the uh, instruction manual. Here's a bracket. Here is a PoE uh, connection, mounting screws, instruction booklet, foams. And this one here, instead the other one have a video and auto signal, this one is only 2K and uh, this one here is uh, only need to be the same degree of location all the time and it's a smaller area. So it don't have the extra function of the uh, Ultra HD does. So this one only have power and RJ45. 
I don't need a sound for this one here, so I didn't buy it with a sound, but uh, for that location, this is okay. So how do we put the power into this, this uh, two PoE camera? Um, we got this thing called the PoE switch. This one they say switch eight, but actually you can use four part. I only need uh, three camera. I got another one already mounted. Uh, this one here have four. I only need three, but it's a lot up to 60 watt of power. And 60 watt power sound camera do use a, a little bit more than uh, 60 watt. That, I mean, all four of them you uh, may use uh, more than 60 watt, but not too many. This one is for general use, so 60 watt will be sufficient for four. Most of them will be 15 watts each. Here's instruction. Here's a PoE out, PoE in. So when they say uh, PoE switch, you only have, when they say eight, you only have four. And here's a, you, the 60 watt power adapter and here's cable and this is simple. So what I got to do on my is uh, the camera gonna connect to RJ45 mounted going to the outside wall uh, some kind of box blocking it but you have uh, wire to go RJ45 to go into the house and this one will be the inside wall pen the wall switch uh, next to coax. Uh, because I can connect to uh, my regular internet through a coax and you have three ports then this coax is going to go to the regular cable modem this three going to go to this switch here this switch will go to my regular Synology uh, switch that have a lag function so everything will be uh, set up for very nice very functional so this is my design plan but it will work out Hopefully everything work out very well and Synology uh, Surveillance station is very good software and it's free, but you still need to buy a license So it uh, may be quite expensive when you get to 40 camera You might want to use different software if you are up to a certain amount of camera because uh, each License is more than $50. So it, it could get quite expensive after a while again the, let me show you how to mount the camera and let me show you how to set up the uh, surveillance station to my Synology. Okay, I gonna show you how to install the system. I got switch here, the two camera we gonna install, the plate that gonna go to home server, and a bunch of cable. And just think about this one that's external long cables. And uh, I got one cable connect directly to a Synology. So that's do a connection. Let's start with the switch here. We got right here, open up. I already show you the unboxing. So I can just do a quick uh, setup here. Uh, of course, there's a management system that you just up really quick, but that will be uh, later. power adapter here to a switch here and this one go from the Synology server connect to one of the port any of the first four port will be fine the last four port it have PoE that's connect to a camera and I got a bunch of cable that's for connection but for the demonstration, I got this two short cable here. Since I'm gonna have two, so I can just connect this one here to from the switch to this one here. This one is gonna be the wall, and I got the from the wall connect to the camera itself. I got two here. That will be number 5 and number 6 and that will be the set to the wall and from the wall we have long run of a wire that go outside the house but I gotta use the same short cable for demonstration and I'm not gonna use any bracket that's for mounting but as the wiring up 
here's uh, one wheel Y-Op. It gotta look like this way here. Here's a outside, just go directly connect to to outside like this and like this. Usually you got water uh, watertight uh, connection over here, but as for general testing, this will be fine. And yeah, that's for a second camera. Uh, once it mounted, you have a bunch of cable, but I'm not gonna use all those cables. So I'm gonna just connect to an ethernet with PoE over here. And uh, this set up for this, I'm gonna just put a box, in a junction box, so it will not be seen. And uh, you just have one PoE wire going out. And from outside, and there you go.